Here are three different ways to factor x to the fourth plus one over the reals. The first method we'll use is matching coefficients. Since this function is strictly positive on the reals, we know it has no real roots. So we know if it does factor, it has to factor into two quadratic terms. Multiplying the two x squared terms gives us our x to the fourth with the coefficient of one, and then multiplying our constant terms gives us the one at the end. So this is a fine way to write the two quadratics that this might reduce into. So now let's multiply this out and we'll see what we have. Now we just match the coefficients from this side to this side. So we see there's a one in front of the x to the fourth, there's a one for the constant term. But then here we have a plus zero x cubed, so a plus b equals zero. And an, the x squared term has a coefficient of zero, so we also have two plus a b equals zero. Then we could solve for b to get b equals negative a. Plug that in here, we'll get 2 minus a squared equals 0, which means a equals plus or minus root 2, and b equals minus plus root 2. Taking a to be the positive square root of 2 and b to be the negative square root of 2, we get that this factors into x squared plus root 2 x plus 1 times x squared minus root 2 x plus 1. The second method we'll use, my favorite method, is completing the square. So we can complete this square by adding a 2x squared, but then we also have to subtract 2x squared to make sure that the equation is unaltered since 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. But now this is the same as, which is the same as, x squared plus 1 squared minus root 2 x squared. And now this is a square and this is a square, so we have a difference of squares. So the standard formula for that is a squared minus b squared is a minus b, or x squared minus root 2 x plus 1, times a plus b, or x squared plus root 2 x plus 1. The final method is to start by factoring this over the complex numbers, then transforming that to a factoring over the reals. So what are the complex roots of this? Well, it's whenever x to the fourth equals negative 1, which is the same as e to the pi i plus 2 pi i n. So we can solve that for x equals e to the pi i over 4 plus pi i over 2 times n. And if we want to put those on the unit circle, right, so we have pi over 4, then we have 3 pi over 4, then we have e to the 5 pi i over 4, and then finally we have e to the 7 pi i over 4. So these are the four complex roots to this equation. So we can write this as x minus e to the pi i over 4 times x minus e to the 3 pi i over 4 times x minus e to the 5 pi i over 4 times x minus e to the 7 pi i over 4. These two are conjugate pairs and these two are conjugate pairs. So multiplying these together should give us some real number. So what we want to do is group them as follows. And then we can multiply these out to get times So we have x squared minus e to the pi i over 4 is 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2 i e to the 7 pi i over 4 is 1 over root 2 minus 1 over root 2 i. And then here we'll have minus 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2 i minus 1 over root 2 minus 1 over root 2 i. And then we'll see the i's cancel out. And we'll get x squared 
So we have one over root two plus one over root two is root two. So we'll have minus root two X plus one times X squared. Here we have minus one over root two minus one over root two is minus root two. So we'll have minus minus plus root two X plus one. And there we have it.